Hello and welcome to the Wednesday News Show. Now, last week we got a lot of stick about the type of beer that mm -hmm. we were drinking. So uh, this is Epic TV branded beer. Mm -hmm, not Heineken. So let's dive straight into the climbing news and start with the IFSC because the lead climbing comp came to Chamonix this week. The IFSC lead climbing wall in Chamonix is overlooked by Mont Blanc towering above it and over 10,000 spectators packed into the square to watch the competition. The atmosphere was incredible. In the women's comp, Korea's Jane Kim looked like she might top the technical route. She reached the head wall but was running out of time, rushing the final moves and falling close to the top. A bronze medal for Jane Kim. We're used to seeing Slovenia's Janja Garnbrett on the top of the podium, but she fell on the final hold of the route, just peeling off the top jug. So a silver medal for Janja. Austria's Jessica Pilz has had a great start to the season with a second place in Vila, and it looked like she's really stepped up a level. With the crowd going crazy, she topped the route in Chamonix to take a well-deserved win. For the men, Germany's Alex Magos has returned to competition climbing and is clearly enjoying every second of it, taking a bronze medal in Chamonix. He pushed through the bottom thuggy section, taking clever rests before taking a fall on the head wall. Everyone thought the route would suit Austria's Jakob Schuber and he was the clear favourite coming into the finals. However, he couldn't quite work out the final boulder problem and fell, taking second place. Italy's Stefano Gasolfi has previously only ever won a World Cup in China, but all that changed this weekend. He climbed brilliantly, timing his rests and the clock to perfection. He always looked in control and was the only athlete to top the route, so a gold medal for Stefano Gasolfi. So what a cool World Cup and a few yeah. big talking points to come out of that final. Um, number one, he didn't win it, but Will Bosi, first ever finals, and he came in fifth place. So, so good for him. Yeah, awesome. Good work. Well. Yeah. He also broke the men's speed climbing record as well, like seven something something. Not the men's, the men's British. The British. Yeah. Oh, That's, really? Yeah, yeah. That's Same cool. weekend, so he's smashing it. Congrats, Will. Do a molly. What, win it third? Yeah. Yeah. I reckon he could. Like it's it's awesome. Like he did. He's done the same kind of thing. That he didn't really look like he was gonna qualify before this, and has come in and just smashed it in the final. So nice, it's awesome for him. Go on, UK. Yeah, represent. And, well, and representing Stefano Gasolfi. Representing Epic TV. Go on, Stefano. Represent. Nice one. Yeah, that was that was super impressive. He climbed very very hard, and that top out. I just seen the, like the little Instagram video top out, and it's just like sends ch slivers, chivers. Shivers she down was, the spine. Yeah, it was super cool. Yeah, I also saw on uh, Instagram, uh, Ashima Shrashi did a little bit of a post-competition excursion and decided to go up to a Guida Midi on the glacier in a short. Yeah, yeah, so I was like, on that Saturday, I was chilling out and I looked up at the Midi and it was sunny in the morning and then the, the storm just rolled in. And there was this picture on Ashima's Instagram, I think it was on a story, so it's not there anymore, but she's in shorts doing the Cosmic Sorette. Yeah. Um, Fair play, why not? Um, but talking about the Cosmic Zerat, there's a, there's a pillar halfway along it that's got two very famous AAs, one called Digital Crack and one called Aret Cosmics, I think. Uh, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. You're yeah, right. Aret Cosmics. So um, they're both AAs, one's Aret Cosmics, maybe an AA plus, but Jim Pope and Journey went up there to do it, Journey yeah. Cruder. Journey Cruder flashed the Aret Cosmics, the AA plus, and Jim sent Digital Crack, which is very famous for not being a crack. And not being that easy. Not easy at all. It's like super like 3,800 meters. It yeah. is, it's hard, but a uh, pretty cool way to finish an IFSC comp, I reckon. Well done. Good lads. Uh, okay, next up, we've got something which I should know what's happening, but I don't. Yes, 9A+. plus. We've got a couple of big 9A pluses in Spain. First, uh, Pietro Schab of uh, Poland has done a 9A plus um, Hulk, Ali Hulk extension total. Uh, 9A plus. First ascended by uh, Danny Andrade. It's the sixth ascent of this route, and it's also um, Pietro's six and nine A plus. So he's looking super, super strong. We talked about him before on the show. So congrats to Pietro. We've also got one more nine A plus, which I noticed, and that is done by a guy called Jorge Diaz Rulo, who's a Spanish, uh, very strong climber. He's done a nine A plus first ascent called Panorama in Petones in Spain. 
Uh, interesting things about uh, Jorge, he's uh, been Spanish champion, he's on site at AB+, and he's also in the Spanish national ninja warrior team. <laughs> nice one, Jorge. That's the best fact ever. Yeah, it's good. He's got lots of nice, good facts on his Instagram page. Excellent. Uh, let's talk about James Pearson because he's done a new route. Well, no, sorry, he's repeated a route in Spain and the whole adventure sounds just horrible. James Pearson and his girlfriend, Caroline Ciavaldini, decided to cycle over the Pyrenees from their home in France to reach the route. In doing so, making a statement about the environment and reducing their carbon footprint. The route is on El Ojo and is a multi-pitch trad climb. It's protected entirely with trad gear, no bolts at the belays, and has some very serious pitches in it. The difficulty goes up to French 8A with bad gear and horrendously loose rock. James on site the route, saying he was too afraid to fall off, and Caroline Ciabaldini seconded him. As Paolo Marazzi would say, there's some serious pitches on that route. Pitches. There's this photo of uh, these huge blocks falling off it that he's just kicked off. Uh, it just looks... Oh, wow. And the cycle, like, j mate, fly, you know? No, that's good. I like it. I respect that. <sighs> it's just a lot of work. Think it's, take yourself out of your comfort zone, getting on a bike, getting the saddle sores going. Nice one. You suffer first. They should have made a film about it. They probably have. They might have done. I yeah. think they have. Yeah. Stay tuned. Um, okay, next up, we've got a very impressive ascent from a very young Ukrainian climber. 13-year-old Ilya Bakhmet Smolensky has climbed an 8C plus route, this is gonna sound wrong, Sverdetsky Zwolato in Poland at the age of just 13. On his Instagram page he says it's very short, five quick draws and 12 bouldery moves on slopey mono holds. Ilya has previously climbed an 8C plus sport route in 2016 at the age of just 11. Yeah, so massively um, impressive uh, ascent there from 13-year-old Ilya. I'm really sorry about the pronunciations of all those routes. I probably got them all wrong. If any of my Polish friends, I think I have one. Really? Uh, yep. Um, knows, wants to correct my Polish, or anyone out there who wants to correct my Polish, phonetically spell it for me in the comment section. Thank you. Floodgates have just opened. Nine be counter. <laughs> Nothing. So, no, there's no nine news this week. But quickly, uh, before we stop, I'm going to mention that uh, Adam Andre is getting very close to Fight Club 9B in 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 Canada. Check it. Now, last week was the Arcteryx Alpine Academy, and as usual, we filmed it and followed it, but we did something a little bit different. Yeah, we um, basically just filmed us throughout the whole day trying to get to as many clinics as possible. Like this was like the first time that me and Matt have taken on the challenge together where we were like, we want to finish the end of the day with, I don't know, whatever, certain like an objective kind of thing. Uh, and we basically just ran around Chamonix trying to get to as many clinics as possible and trying to get as many tips as possible. Check out this teaser. So every competition needs rules, uh, and here are a few for us. All the clinics finish by about 3 p.m., so we've got to be down in the Alpine Village for them. We can use our car, because I don't want to run anywhere, and I've got to learn something, or try to learn something, on every clinic we manage to find. So first of all, we're up here on the summit of the iconic Agbul de Midi for our first clinics. So we're going to find the mountaineers and the glacier walkers, hopefully get a tip and then run down as fast as we can. So if you want to see me utterly, utterly miserable, you've got to watch the end of that video because we tried to go up to this trad... Let me explain. Shaman is here, right? Very steep-sided valley. Trad Crag is up here, 50-minute walk uphill, and we had no guarantee that anyone would be there. I was not a happy boy. Equals miserable Matt. Miserable Matt. So make nickname. Sure, yeah. So watch to the end of the video if you want to see me basically cry. Matt doesn't walk. like a walk-in. I hate walking. Well, it turns out... Walking? I like walking. Why? Because it's like... 
It's nice. It's, it's therapeutic. It's not nice. It is. I get walking to a crag, right? If I have to walk somewhere cool, I understand that. But just walking. We were walking to a crag. Yeah, but I wasn't going to climb it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anyway. So that's a 20-minute epic that went up uh, on Climbing Daily uh, on Monday. We've also got the new Cold House Media um, episode, which is out this week. And it is a goodie. It was a crazy sector because when we arrived there was just so many rocks and boulders to be climbed but we didn't see much chalk. At the beginning I was like, oh that's a weird way of development because you have like a boulder here that has been developed, hundreds of boulders that haven't been touched, and then you walk a bit, a boulder here, a lot of untouched etc etc. But then you find out that all the boulders that are developed are just the best looking, just like I have some. Like Charlotte said, it's a crazy place filled with just so much potential everywhere you look, especially as Charlotte and I have been developing a lot on this world tour of ours. So pop pour la France. Nice one guys, Josh and Charlotte, they're like the postman of climbing vloggers. They always deliver, I'm pretty sure I've said that joke before. But... They're, they're sort of climbing with my crush at the moment. Who's got a crush? Well you know I've got, you know, Annalena. Ah. If any of you guys, uh, I watched a video the other day about telling people, uh, telling your crushes that you have a crush on them. That? Uh, <laughs> if anyone thinks that Matt should call up Annalena and tell them her that he's got a crush on her and risk the wrath of Matty Hong, let us know in the comments below. I myself would love to see it. <laughs> I'm spat every, I was so excited. I would love to see that. I really like Matty Hong though, and he would definitely beat me up and everything. But Annalena, you are. He'd probably, he'd probably film it as well, which would be. Classic climbing daily. <laughs> anyway, nice. Uh, I think we've got some shop stuff to be going to talk about. Yeah, so uh, you and me have sold out, basically. Uh, the shop came of to us. Ourselves? Yeah, we've sold ourselves out. Sold ourselves out of, of the shop. We are an advertising machine, basically. So we are representing various different deals in the shops. There's rope deals, there's hardware deals, and you can see our beautiful faces advertising them. Out of stock. Uh, yeah, but and seriously though, is the, the sale still on? They and there's still deals. deals to get. Yeah. Like, I've seen a few people on Facebook uh, complaining that there aren't any cams left, there aren't any quick draws left. Yes, because we've sold out of them. They're on sale, they get sold out really quickly. These deals go, and once they've gone, they've gone. Yeah. But there are still deals to be got, there's still to be deals to be had. So definitely go and check out and see uh, if you can find one. Yeah, there's a link down there. It's like another challenge. Yeah. We could watch the Epic TV Shop Challenge. It shouldn't, it's not hard, but you know, you've got to go and look for it. I think anyway. that's it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice. Thanks guys. Thank you very much for watching. And um, yeah, also one more thing. Let us know if you want to see more challenges. Oh, Somebody yeah. suggested the 24 hour climbing fest. Yeah, that would be fun. That we should do that. I want to do something uh, in the UK as well, like a trad. You know how like, uh, 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 what's his name? Tom Randall and Pete run around like a crag thing. Maybe we do something like that. Maybe yeah. with Tom, yeah. but not ease. Maybe we do like as many VSs in a day as Yeah, 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 definitely. I need to start training, but let's yeah. do it. I'm keen. Let us know. Comment below. Bye. Bye.